Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to create a table in MS Access. As in the previous session, uh, which was about the, the introduction about data, information, and database. So we'll be using the same example. If you are not, uh, if you have not seen my previous session, so just for your review. This was the example which we have taken for a database to store student records. So here you can see the column names, student ID, name, grade, session, fee, and city. In database terminology, we call these column names as fields. So let's create a table in MS Access. Okay, now um, to create a new database, because one database can have multiple tables. Remember this, we'll click on new. Now these are other templates are available. We'll go for blank database. Okay. Uh, let's see. Give it a name. Student. Now in 2013 and uh, 2010, starting from 2007, the extension is ACCDB. Earlier it used to be MDB. Okay. Create. Okay. Now the database is open and by default, one table is there. So I'll show you if there is no table. So how to, okay, I will delete this one. Okay, the table is open, so we can't delete. Okay, now there is no table. So we'll go to create, click on table. Now this table is created by default. You can see one field is their ID. And then we can create, uh, you can put the data and automatically it uh, the access will judge as per the enter data. It will create another field will not go for that step right click go to design view put a table name it's a student okay now here we have you can see this field name and data type so let's say we will give student ID data type is auto number auto number means that starting from one two three and so on so there will be increment of plus one you can change this increment as well but for the time being we'll just go for a simple database student name and the field name is name okay uh, name is reserve name so we'll put student name short text now short text means that you can write text now a name cannot have of course uh, more than on average more than uh, 30 to 50 characters so here you can see the field size is 255 short text by default the field size is 255 characters which means that if you store uh, the name of five characters so this field sizes can have 255 characters in that field so a name now have a look grade session fee and city so we'll put grade short text session now this is short text you can see session is having numbers only so we'll put n a number or in the drop down you can select number also fee it's a currency so you can select currency data type currency data type then you can put uh, a currency symbol as well so put currency and then last field is city so this is the basic table is created now we'll close this one do you want to save changes to the design of table student click yes now your table is created now how to enter the data into this table this is a very basic session about the database and how to create a table in, in Microsoft Access. So we'll go step by step. Double click this table. Now this table is opened in data sheet format. Student name, John, grade one, session. Now you can see by default zero is coming because we have kept the data type as number. Session 2017. 
if you remember for data type for fee we have kept as currency so by default whatever uh, the currency symbol is there in your operating system settings for the currency that symbol will appear here if you have dollar sign uh, as by default in your windows operating system as a currency symbol then dollar sign will appear city and then come down okay so we'll take the same example john smith ferry okay F smith grade one 2017 2000 london ferry grade one 2017 fee 2000 london then jerry don't worry tom can also come okay 2000 and london so this is how we have made a tape created a table in access now here you can see as i have already uh, said that student id the data type was auto number so increment by one one two three four now remember in remember that if you delete any record so for example if i would delete this record just for example delete now okay i'm about to delete one record yes now i will create a new record okay new record means another record 2017 2000 and london now you can see fourth is not there which means this is kind of security as well that for example if you have made any database and somebody deliberately or uh, unintentionally deleted a record so once a new record is entered so the id number four is missing which can give you an idea that okay there was a record which was deleted whether by mistake unintentionally or intentionally so this is the feature of auto number field and definitely this auto number is very much useful in uh, particularly in financial data or statistics where the serial number is very much important so if the if a serial number is missing this means that there is some record is missing so auditors also can find it out so this was the basic table i hope everybody has uh, got the idea how to create a table now once you have made a table as an example if you want to add a country city is there if you want to add country as well or home address or telephone number so once the table is made don't worry about that you can amend the field you can modify the field always so close this table now we want to add uh, let's an example country so right click on the table go to design view you can add more fields country short text okay then uh, maybe telephone okay telephone or telephone you can store in short text or in numbers as well because telephone of course later on we will see that how oh, uh, we can store the telephone in like in some of the formats or forms even in the paper format as well you have seen that okay uh, the country code is in parentheses or the zero is, is in uh, is in parentheses and then okay i'll show you what i mean to say like for example sometimes you have seen like this zero or double four okay then zero and then the code and so on so to have this format you can keep in short text otherwise as you know if you put the data type as number so number will not allow you to put plus sign or even double zero because prefix with double zero will be omitted with double four okay because number is uh, uh, considered as uh, arithmetic or mathematical uh, numbers on which calculations can be performed so definitely prefix with the zero it will uh, not solve our uh, the purpose if we want to have plus sign a particular format 
but definitely later on we'll see how can we format even a number you can format as well but that will be only for the display okay so now we'll close this one back to and double click to open now you can store okay country UK US US or whatever Australia okay so telephone you can also store don't worry about that of course you can change city of course I know London is not there in US so you can okay New York state or city whatever uh, you want to okay so this is how you can amend uh, a table design and then you don't add that add the data keep in mind one thing that now if the session is zero if I will add text here it will not accept okay enter new value now it will accept now if you want to change keep in mind if you want to change the data type you can even change the data type of a field as well so let's go design and uh, for section let's say I will keep short text now save okay close double click now you can see the difference now this these numbers are on left line which means now the table is considering this data as text not numbers so you cannot perform calculation on this one if you want to perform calculation on a text field then first you need to convert the text into numbers but definitely of course if I say okay 2017A 217B so then you need to later on we'll see that then you need to remove B and then convert this text into number and then perform the calculation anyways so from the basic so what you have seen okay I will repeat this uh, repeat the steps again you can create of course in one database you can create multiple database uh, multiple tables click on table okay now you are here right click go to design view give it a table num table name um, let's say okay stuff put the name as staff ID staff name contact number or okay uh, by number email so mobile number you can store in numbers as I said earlier in the previous uh, example so this is how you can create another table okay we'll close this one yes now double click and enter the data this is a basic part how to create a table or multiple tables in an access database so in next session we'll be discussing that uh, what is redundancy how to reduce redundancy and uh, if, of course in conjunction with the different data types also I will give you an idea of uh, what all data types can do and normally what kind of data types we are using uh, which helps to reduce redundancy as well so I will give you the concept of redundancy as well because in databases redundancy is the most important and then how to link one or more tables with each other Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'm open to questions. If you have any particular topic to discuss, I'm open to discuss and then I can provide you uh, a training video on that particular topic as well. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.